In this presentation, we will discuss membership operators in detail. So, without any further delay, let's get started. The first topic of this presentation is introduction to membership operators. The second topic is membership operators. After discussing these two topics, we will move on to the homework problem of this presentation. So, let's get started with the first topic that is introduction to membership operators. So, what is a membership operator? Membership operator checks the availability or existence of a value in a specified sequence. So, a membership operator has the capability to check the existence of a value in a specified sequence. And what is a sequence? A sequence can be a string, tuple, list, or a dictionary. So, a sequence can be any of these data types. And membership operator has the capability to check the existence of some value in any of these sequences. In Python, we have two different types of membership operators. The first type is in operator, which is denoted by in, and the second type is not in operator, which is denoted by not in. So let's move on to the next topic, which is membership operators. The first operator that we need to understand is in operator. In operator returns true if the specified value is the member of the sequence. If the specified value is not the member of the sequence, then in operator returns false in that case. In order to understand this better, let's consider one example. Let's open our command prompt and activate the Python interactive shell. After activating the Python interactive shell, type this command str equal to jaspreet. Jaspreet is written within single quotes, so this is the string. Now let's hit enter and type sub str equal to preet. So sub str is preet and str is jaspreet. Now let's hit enter and this time we need to type sub str in str. In operator is applied on sub str and str. This means we are checking whether sub str is part of str or not. In other words, whether sub str is member of str or not. If we hit enter, we will get true as a result because this string preet is part of this string just preet. I hope this concept is clear. So, in operator has the capability to check whether the specified value is the member of the sequence or not. Now, let's consider one more example where we will take a different sequence. This time, we will take a list. So, let's type this command numbers equal to 23, 245, 56, 78, and so on. Now, let's hit enter and type num equal to 97. So, num is another variable which is pointing to this value 97. Now, let's hit enter and type num in numbers. Is num in numbers? Is it true that 97 is member of this list? No, right? This means after hitting enter, we will get false as a result. I hope the concept of in operator is completely clear. Now, let's move on to the next operator, which is not in operator. Not in operator returns true if the specified value is not the member of the sequence. If it is the member of the sequence, then not in operator will return false. Let's again open our command prompt and activate the Python interactive shell. After this, type this command x equal to 5. Then we need to hit enter and type numbers equal to 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. So we have this entire list and numbers variable is pointing to this list. Now let's hit enter and type x not in numbers. Is it true that x is not member of numbers? x is 5 and it can be observed that 5 is member of this list. Therefore, if we hit enter, we will get false as a result because x is member of numbers. It is not the case 
that x is not the member of numbers. Hence, we will get false as a result. Remember that not in operator returns true if the specified value is not the member of the sequence. But 5 is member of the sequence. Hence, we will get false as a result. So, this is all we need to understand about membership operators. Now, let's move on to the homework problem of this presentation. A dictionary is a data structure which contains a sequence of key value pairs separated by columns. So, a dictionary is a data structure which contains a sequence of key value pairs. It is a sequence and it consists of key value pairs separated by columns. Any membership operator can be applied on a dictionary. As there are two types of members in a dictionary, these members are key and value, the presence of which type will be tested by a membership operator? This is your first question. The second question is, what is the output of the following program? You also need to determine the output of this program. As there are two types of members in a dictionary, these two types are key and value, the presence of which type will be tested by a membership operator? I want you to research on this, that the presence of which type will be tested by a membership operator and then you need to determine the output of this program, which will be easier to determine if you find the answer to the first question. So, this is the homework problem and now, as we are done with this, we are done with this entire lecture. We have understood what is a membership operator and what are the different membership operators we have in Python. Then we have understood all the membership operators in detail and also we have seen the homework problem of this presentation. Okay friends, this is it for now. Thank you for watching this presentation. I will see you in the next one.